I should say, lack there of it, and just uh, maybe a, a haze out there. Otherwise, hardly even a cloud in the sky. 79 is what we're sitting at right now. Humidity down to 30%. It is comfortable outside. Do have a little bit of a breeze, though, again, uh, 10 miles an hour. Otherwise, that's really the only thing that's going to hold you back from your day. You got a little bit of cloud cover to the north. Uh, you look through southern portions of the state. We are still cloud free, and we go regionally here. Pretty quiet one out there. We've got some clouds upwards of northern Minnesota with a few showers and then a few isolated showers uh, down into southern Missouri, northern Arkansas. So quiet for the time being. And uh, <clears throat> we look out there today, 84 the high on the day, still working with a little bit of heat off to the west. 92 for North Platte, Dodge City at 90, Green Bay at 72. So cooler air to the north eventually will start to work in some cooler air. Not today though as we still ride those highs back into the middle 80s and we'll see those temperatures taper back tonight. Clear skies though, even as we head into the overnight 67 by one o'clock in the morning, a pretty comfortable and beautiful day. If you're looking uh, to do anything outside, you'd be kindly rewarded to do so. Saturday morning, clear skies again. We really don't see anything start to get going until late Saturday night. And most of that is going to be through northern portions of the state. You can see where that line roars through and uh, once that's gone, not a lot left, maybe a scattered shower or thunderstorm into the afternoon on Sunday. Otherwise, a pretty quiet stretch for us, uh, but eventually we're going to see things cool down quite a bit behind this system. So we look at the chances for severe weather. Best chances will be that northern tier counties again. Uh, you can see areas highlighted in yellow, Kasuth County West and East. That's a slight risk and that does taper back to a marginal risk as you get further southeast towards Davenport. So as far as your storm impacts, largely talking hail and wind out of this. I wish I could bring in a little bit of rain for a lot of locations that desperately need it. But again, this is not looking like a big heavy rainmaker for us. 84 the high on the day, staying breezy out of the west southwest 10 to 20 miles per hour. And tonight temperatures down into the upper 50s. So I know a lot of us this morning we're in the low to mid 40s, the coldest air we've seen since the end of May, but uh, it's going to stay a little bit more mild out there tonight. Uh, 84 for the Metro, 84 Fort Dodge, Algona coming in at 82, and tomorrow still a little bit cooler to the northeast, but look at the highs across the state building in that warmth, upper 80s to low 90s, and those feels like temperatures. You'll see Saturday's not bad, but we start to work into Sunday, and some of us are again climbing back up towards triple digits. So if you're looking for a last ditch pool day, well, that might be the day for you. And after that, we are cooling off 83 for Labor Day with chances for showers and thunderstorms. Look at Tuesday 60 is your high overnight lows in the middle 40s through the end of next week. Temperatures warming back to 70 by Friday.